And you know, I want to say this, you know, one of the root causes why people don't make it is the spirit of unbelief. Amen. In the book of Hebrews chapter 3, the Bible says they did not enter into the rest because of unbelief. Amen. And unbelief is the driving force of sin. Unbelief is the driving force of rebellion. Unbelief, right, is the driving force even on the topic that we're going to deal with this morning. The spirit of complaining. Amen. And, you know, and we need to deal with that, each one of us. Amen. The world is full of unbelief. Amen. You know, people have said so many things about the scripture and they've died. But the scripture... It goes on because the Bible says, right, you know, all scripture is inspired by God. Amen. You know, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word will not pass away. Amen. And God, we stand in the word. Amen. And so unbelief is something that goes against the word. And we need to deal with that because, you know, so many times even, you know, sometimes as I look at, you know, sometimes, right, you know, preparing messages, I look at some church sites and some Christian sites. Amen. Just amazing some of the things that are, you know, some of the things that people believe. Still at one Christian site and got horoscope there. You know, what well, kind of, you know, that's really witchcraft. Amen. And so, even this morning, you know, there's a lot of things that will begin to, in, you know, there's a lot of things that are happening, right, to cause us not to believe. And the Bible says, right, the children of Israel did not believe. Amen. Because of unbelief, they did not enter into the rest. The next problem that we looked at last week was the spirit of rebellion. Amen. And here, right, you know, as I said last week, Every one of us has spiritual authority. All of us. Amen. When a child is born, one of the reasons there's a father and mother is that there may be spiritual authority. And if that is wrong, right, everything else goes wrong. Amen. And so we need all of us have spiritual authority. Our kids, right, in school have spiritual authority. We, right here, amen, we have a spiritual authority. Senior pastor, we've got the leadership, the board, the leadership. Even in our nation, there's our prime minister, there's the ministers and all. There's spiritual authority. And now we all workplace the spiritual authority. And you know, and if there was if the, the first problem, the major problem that took place in the universe was when Lucifer rebelled against God. You know, he wanted to take the place of God, the position. Amen. And as a result of that, right, the judgment of God came upon Lucifer. And right there, right, there's a spirit of rebellion. And so as you look at the uh, the history of the world, two things that are very key. One is uh, one is unbelief. Another's rebellion, and we need to address each one of us. Like. Amen. You know, we need to address all of us, right? Need spiritual authority. Like. Even me, I may be pastoring this church, but I'm accountable to the assemblies of God. Like. I'm accountable, you know, I, you know, I'm accountable to some of the preachers that come here to minister. Like. You know, I, they, they speak into my life. Like. You know, they have been, I've always told some of them that, you know, you can, you know, they, if you feel anything is wrong, just correct like. And you, know, you can speak into my life, you know, and I hear I'm accountable, and so we need to have spiritual authority. Like. And listen, uh, one of the key things why there's so much a problem in this world is because, right, of families, like, spiritual authority. And, you know, and, you know, we want to do a bit more for the men. Men, we need to rise up, take our spiritual authority at home. Like. Can I hear an amen for the men? Like? Amen, a bit louder. Like. Support me. Like. Amen. Can I hear an amen from the men? Like? Amen. We need, hey, all the men... Amen. Look at me. Like. Amen. We need to position ourselves. Man, you know, we are here, right, to love our wife. And all the husbands said, It's hey, softer. Huh? You guys, uh, all the wife all looking at the husband. Uh. Come, we are here to, what are we here to do? We are here to love our wife, not wives. Huh? <laughs> I must be very careful what I say here. Like. Now they put 10 minutes on the YouTube as well. Like. So, amen. We need to love our wife. Like. Come on, husbands, look at your wife and say, I love you, darling. I love you, darling. <laughs> hey, Isaac, you never tell me. Hey, Isaac. Oh, hey, no holding hand all up. Uh, Down after church, love. Uh. Okay, you see, if this is restored, friends, this and everything else is restored. Uh. Amen. Uh. And of course, right, you know, the, uh, the instruction to wife is to submit to your husband. And there's love, there's always submission. Uh. And, you know, and love is, of course, right, you know, a higher, it's a, love is a higher word than submission. Because love covers everything else. Like. Love covers humility. Amen. And then, you know, children, listen, our kids, right, need to recognize the authority of the family. Like. Amen. So husband and wives, when we deal, husband and wife, when we deal with our kids, we've got to be united in dealing in every sense. Like. Amen. But this morning, right, we're going to address another serious issue in the children of Israel. Like. Amen. And that is the spirit of complaining. I mean, right through their journey, like, and I did a study on this word complain. And you know, I found right, at least there were eight instances, maybe you can find more. Like, but eight instances where you know, they were just complaining. Like, they were just a bunch of mourners and whiners and complainers and murmurers and 
You know, and right through, right, man, they just gave, right, Moses a tough time. La. Amen. La. The spirit of complaining. And, and it starts, right, you know, I'm just going to go through this, just take note. And then we're going to end up by looking at, you know, how can we overcome the spirit of complaining? You know, last night I was just praying, you know, complaining is Malaysian culture. Uh, you meet everywhere, right? I just can imagine, right, you know, when I was working in TNB, you know, all this, right, when people meet, what they're doing, they always... Complaining. When relatives get together, what do they talk about? Like? Oh, your, your relatives don't talk about that. Huh? Okay, you know, complain. When people get together, they talk, you know. But you know, nowadays, right now, everybody's got something to complain about the government. Huh? Now, man, you know, they say free speech can just, you know, listen, everybody's complaining. Like. Amen. Huh? And we need to, and, and it's part, you know, it's really that we need to deal. Like. You know, the weather, you know, when it's too hot, people they pass it too, and it, you know, people, the parts of the weather too hot. Like. And then when God brings the rain, oh, pastor, so wet, so, you know, so humid. You know, everything is wrong. Aircon, man, pastor, too hot, some too cold, you know. And, and you know, we've just gone to the mentality, right, you know, of just, you know, everything, right, we've got to, we've got to say something to complain. Amen. And even as you look, right, you know, you know everything, we blame something else. You know, every, you are, we are the right one. You know, we drive on the road, everybody's wrong except us. And you know, not realizing that we may be the problem on the road. Amen. You know, when we play sport, you know, we blame right now, the guy takes the golf stick and hits, right? And then right now, the ball ends up somewhere in the lake. And then he blames and hits the golf stick, you know? And he's the bad golfer and he blames his golf stick. Amen. And so we've got this, right, you know, this attitude, right? Amen. That, you know, we just complain. And as I lay down, I will say, right, you know, complaining is very contagious and very addictive. Hmm. I must complain. I must complain. I must complain. I must complain about somebody. And I must complain. You know, and, you know, and because of this, right, it's an addiction. And everything that we see, we complain. Amen. You know, every, you know, everything that we see is wrong. Everything that we see, right, go to a place of work, you know, we see everything is wrong. Amen. And so we need to begin to address this. Before I do that, you know, let me just share with you some complaints, you know, some major complaints that wives make of their husbands, you know. Uh, just let me read this to you. And then the next one is about husbands complain of wives. Okay. Okay. Major complaints of wives. And so, you know, my wife and I, we've done quite a bit of uh, 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 marital counseling. Amen. And you know, some of the complaints. First, Pastor, he doesn't listen to me. Next one. Pastor, he takes me for granted. He doesn't notice me. Y'all agree or not? Next one. Pastor, he's not romantic. You know, when you're courting, you open the door, close the door. Now you tell me you close the door yourself. You know, sometimes have you seen guys, right, walking, you know, husband and wife walking, then the wife tries to catch hold of the husband's hand. And the husband just puts their hand on the back. <laughs> Another one. He doesn't help much in the house. La. I think I'm guilty of that. <laughs> but I'm not that bad, right? Say something positive. La. Husbands, these are some of the... Uh, these are some of the... They did a study and these are the, some of the complaints of husbands. La. She doesn't understand that I need time for myself. La. You know... You all agree, you know? All very quiet, huh? This is another one. Pastor, she just nags about everything. Third one. She expects too much emotionally. Another one is, she always complains that I spend too much time at work. Okay. And you know, and over the, you know, and you see, right, husband and wife, of course, right, you know, we look at kids and parents, another series of complaints. Right? But this morning, right, we really need to address this issue of complaints because, you know, as the result of the spirit of complaining, the children of Israel, this was one of the key areas, right, they messed up. And as a result of them messing this area, they missed out. Right? Because of this mess, they missed. Right? Amen. And right through, right, you know, the children of Israel in their journey in the wilderness, you know, for 40 years, it was complain, complain, complain.